today we're going to be learning how to draw this fun dog. Let's get started. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to draw a golden retriever. So when we start with a photograph, we want to start with our simple shapes. And we don't want to look at the outline of the dog. We actually want to break it up into circles, rectangles, organic shapes, and then build it from there. So we're going to start with the head. That seems like a simple shape to me. It's an, a little bit like a big circle right in there. Now you do not need to be following along with me at this point. Just look and see the shapes and we'll do this together in a minute. Next, I see the body kind of in here and in here. Then we have the snout coming down. It would start with a big shape like that. Then we have the ear, which is a soft triangle. You can get in the nose, which is another kind of triangle. And then the mouth. And then kind of some final details like the tongue in here and the eye triangles. And finally, if you want to add the butterfly, we have a triangle in there, see a little body, another triangle there. By breaking it down into these simple shapes, we can get started. Let's go. So remember when we were going through it just a second ago, our circle was the first shape we started with. So I'm going to start with that circle just in here. Remember, if you don't get the best shape the first go round, you can do it a couple of times. It's important to draw lightly so you can erase any mistakes. Then I'm going to add the back, and I'm actually going to add this off the page over here. Even though we have this little area that you don't see, I'm just going to kind of keep it going. Then we have the neck, and it comes all the way down in here. And then it was the snout, right? We come in here, kind of come straight out curves down and then comes in to the neck there. Next would be the ear. And the nose. And the mouth just below the nose here comes into the circle, curves around and comes up here. Then the tongue, the bottom of the mouth here, and then we have the side of the mouth here, the eye. Then remember that butterfly. Let's start with the body. It's a big triangle here. And another triangle in there. And that's a great way to get started. Now we're going to erase these lines and start on our details. So I'm going to erase all of these lines so we can really see what we're working with. The first shapes really just guide us in getting the right size, shape, and placement of all the parts of the dog. So next I'm going to look in here and I notice it kind of comes out a little bit more here. I'm going to pull it in. The eye kind of comes down in here a little bit. The nose, I can get some of the detail in the nose here by adding that little hook. I'm also going to start erasing lines that I don't need. I'm going to erase the line in here, just like that. I'm going to erase this line. I'm going to erase this in there, and this. Now 
Now from here, I can really tell that I need to start getting some detail in the mouth, like getting kind of that curve in there, bringing this a little bit more down and in here. And this is the black area. Maybe get some teeth so I can see what I'm working with. And then notice how the bottom kind of goes into the neck and we have this area here. And then this kind of goes in the bottom there. Now also I want to show that this is the outside line. It's lighter over here. And this is kind of inside the mouth. So I might even shade some of that in. And the tongue, I'm going to find that center line. Maybe get a little bit more detail on that tongue. Now I see a line kind of going up into the mouth here. And I want to erase this line right there. So you can see he's starting to look a little bit more like himself. For the butterfly, I might get some lines in here. I'm not going to do it exactly like what you see, but I'm going to get some of the texture on the wings here. Maybe match those there. Get the antenna in. Maybe the foot. I'm also going to clean up this line on the nose. Find the center there. Also going to bring out the eye a little bit. I want to see that the eye is a little darker in here, so I am going to shade it in and find the pupil. Go a little darker for the pupil. And there's kind of a little texture around the eye, too. Next, I'm going to look at these ears. There's some kind of fur going on. I don't want to have a very straight line since it's all kind of covered in fur in there. Now look at the direction that the fur is going. It's extremely important to kind of see that. Again, you can add some fur at the bottom here, kind of more in the mouth. And then what's really bothering me is the shape of the head. I kind of want to have this a little squared off here. It's just a little too round for me. There, I'm feeling really confident in this dog. I'm going to just shade in this area here. So you can tell that it's darker. And kind of that, the gum part of the, the mouth. Maybe add a little bit more hair here, some hair in here. Remember the direction that the hair is going is very important. Maybe some little dots in here and shading in kind of where the nose, the nostrils are. There's a little curve to that. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. Feel free to color in, um, shade in using your pencil, use some markers, um, have fun with it. Thank you for working with me today.